<laughs> I wonder if Gandhi has any bonuses to nuclear research. <laughs> that right there wins best comment. That was fantastic. Thank you. 736137. Nicely done. Nicely done. I <laughs> oh, love it. That, that was great. A nice little Civ uh, reference there. I'm trying to remember which version I say. That was Civ 1? No. No, it was Civ 5. Civ 5. The fall of Denver. Syndicate militias have been fighting sparse skirmishes with the federal government across the Great Plains. Today, their efforts are crowned as they finally descended upon the city of Denver after a large-scale assault across the South Platte Valley, Denver being the capital of Colorado and the main federal stronghold of the Great Plains. The fall of the Queen City of the Plains indeed seems to have been a major upset for the future of the United States. It's quite interesting to think of Denver as the capital of the Great Plains. It's in the mountains. I know it's on the edge of the mountains, but still up in the mountains. Like, actually seeing uh, the Rockies from the Great Plains, like, driving across Montana into the Rockies is pretty phenomenal. I mean, it is completely flat, completely flat, and then, vumph, mountains. They just take off out of nowhere, basically. It's literally just a line. Cross that line, and boom, you're in the mountains. And so when you're driving up to it, you're just completely flat, and then, vumph, mountains. When the British Raj fell, the Bombay presidency was dissolved, and its Maharatha... Maratha districts partitioned between Hyderabad, Kolhapur, and other princely states. A new state of Bombay was then created to manage the vital port city of the Arabian Sea, directly under the control of the executive. However, there have been calls for a new grand and unitary Maharatha, Maharatha princely state, with the same rights as Hyderabad, Mysore, Travancore, Cushin, and the Council of Princes. The so-called state of Maharatha would be the imposing size and industrial capacity, but ruled by college of the various Maharatha petty princes in unison. Within the larger and older princely states, there is much opposition to the creation of a new powerful federal state which could counter the interests of the established order. However, a strong Maharatha could mean a more efficient administration and easier access for the federal army. Will the Maharathi be elevated to national prominence? Bombay, Bombay is renamed to Mumbai. I mean, we gain a bunch of political power. Is there any reason not to do this? I'm still kind of waiting for Madras to get something. I mean, it's not spitting them out as a puppet. I've been told to do it, so we will. All right, so Bombay is no longer the state, it is now the Maharashtra. Improved infantry equipment, level one. Excellent. And we are on September 38, so we don't quite have the 39 tech yet. We are still getting the research from there. Okay, support weapons two. Let's go and grab that. Republic of South Africa took one state. South Rhodesia was annexed. That did not last very long. Alright, are you guys trained yet? No, you're not actually. And you guys are all still pretty well trained? Yes, you are. Good. How's the deficit? Deficit is falling. Not as quickly as I would have liked, but it's definitely falling. Computing machine has finished. It's still September. I don't think we want any of those. We could get decryption. The King Coop is hosting. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um... I don't know. Like, do we want support units? We don't have the industry for support units right now. That is definite. I'm not even looking at Navy or Air Force. I don't want to spend my 50% bonus on grabbing those. And we've already got all of these that I want. So yeah, I think we're going to get recon units because that will increase the attack ability. Oh, recon improves your abilities in mountains and stuff. 
Interesting. You must have just hopped over here before you hit your host. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, viewer numbers just increased. Ah, people. <laughs> okay, expand the civilian industry. Excellent. So we are growing more. I think we want to continue expanding the civilian industry and then we can get the military industry expansion as well. We must continue the expansion of our civilian factories. I quite agree. I know, that's awesome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we are currently playing the Kaiserreich mod as the Princely Federation because I kind of fancied playing someone a little bit neutral and kind of be a bit of a kingmaker. Our immediate objective is to try and take over and unite India, of course. And then after that, who knows? Turkestan Khanate has declared war on the Alash Order. In fact, our stated goal should probably be to destroy colonialism wherever it is found. National rule everywhere. So anyone who has colonies needs to be taken down a peg. 31 more than we're watching Seven Days to Die. That's just not true. But Hearts of Iron almost always does better on this channel than <laughs> the one viewer being bussy. Ouch. Than other games. Like Hearts of Iron's just more popular. It's the same on YouTube. Like, oh man, when I was doing the uh, Brazil, Empire of Brazil game on YouTube, that was getting like 400 views a day compared to my other series at the time, which were getting maybe 100. Our ideology has grown. Oh, I like to when you said our ideology is, our popularity is rising. Um, yeah, I'll spend 25 political points on increasing that. We're up to 70%, I believe it's 80% that we get the very high popularity, at which point we get even more political power. Okay, FAI has taken out the Kingdom of Spain, so they are now in control of Spain. And Egypt and the Ottomans have signed a white peace. Re okay. <laughs> Spanish Civil War is over. The Spanish Civil War is finally over, and it seems that the Iberian Federation has emerged triumphant. Much of the countryside lies in ruins, and order is not completely restored, but the anarcho-Spanish government announced that the old feudal order has been finally put to rest. Yeah, war with the Entente never ends. Well, it depends if you can get to Canada or not. I mean, getting to Africa wouldn't be that hard from India, but getting to Canada would be tough. And then I guess you have to deal with, like, the Caribbean Federation and the other small bits. But I'm really liking the uh, the new focuses so far. Really getting, looking forward to getting more stuck in with those. Prince, Princey Federation just looked interesting enough. You didn't get the event. What event? That would depend on what the event was that I didn't get. Aha! You already. My amazingly pathetic units. Look at look at that combat strength. It's it's magnificent. Can't believe it's so bad. Oh, I see. Is there an event after you finish fighting the Entente or something to get the white piece? I assume that's what you mean. Alright, so we're up to 13 civilian factories. Once we have the other two, then we're at the uh, 15 that I was hoping for. We are getting more military factories done. The downside to that, of course, is we're using more and more steel. So our deficit has grown. So I think it is now time for us to import a little bit more steel. I'll continue getting it from Germany because I want to see them holding firm against the other nations in Europe. All right, and research is still underway. This is almost done, then we'll be hitting the military industries. And then once we have the military industries done, we're gonna go and grab the technological upgrades. And then after that, we'll probably hit the army reforms. And then probably preparing for the final struggle. Which gives some really big bonuses. Hmm. Expand civilian industry further, excellent. At which point we're going to grab the expand military industry. In order to retake the subcontinent, we'll need to massively expand our military capacity. Indeed we shall. Right, so how are you doing for factories? 5, 12 to 14, 11 to 13, 18 to... So we are probably the most industrial, though Gandhi over there has got quite a few military factories already functional. You only have five, I have ten. So we're going to be outproducing uh, Dominion of India, although they have the Entente on their side, so they can be receiving 
Len Lease. And apparently in the last uh, version update, Len Lease actually works now. <laughs> apparently it just wasn't working for a while. There are two lines here. I thought that was a bit weird. All right, so all of you lot should be assigned to this, that we're building up uh, planning permission. No, planning, planning permission. Ah, oh, what that word called. Um, thingy. Planning preparation, that was it. Ready for that. We have a lot of political power that we could be spending on something. What do we want? I think we are going to get the intel minister now. We're going to get the uh, tech bonus guy. Because apparently that's now a thing. Gandhi's building nukes. How long has the army been training? A long time. Like two years. But I did also um, change my division templates quite radically. I made them a lot bigger than they were. Which is also why I'm short on guns. And then the remaining combat width, up to 40, will be filled out with artillery. And I'm going mass assault, which means I can then get even more infantry, which will then like backfill afterwards. So our infantry units are going to be horrifically strong and basically just steamroll or everything. But there is a cost in building them. And I think we do need to buy in a little bit more steel. So let's do so. That is going to be putting us back a little bit in terms of civilian factories. But so it goes. How are we doing on artillery? Because I want to add more artillery units to the line, but we can't afford to do so just yet. Do the two choices in the army give specific uh, bonus to the different doctrines? That's a good question. I don't think so. No. Centralized command gives you planning speed, division organization, and division training time. And army of the princely states gives you national unity, daily political power, or division recovery. So this one is more political. This one's more military. And we have no problem with political power anymore. So I think it's going to be military. Oh, except the army princely states is required for this one, which improves your cavalry. Yay. That's either centralize the army's command is for the motorized and armored. So this one is a lot weaker than the centralized army command. I guess this has more negative events or something associated with it. Ignasinius, the Red Flood. Ignasinius, Lithuania's most famous impressionist writer, has already published a new book, Raudonisas Trvas, the Red Flood, that has just breached Lithuania's prison in literary obscurity. Right, so, it is now 39, so we can get the text for 39. Let's get more construction, that is always the top priority. Get steel through the focus. I will. I want to get the research and everything first, though. I feel like that's more important. And I want to get the uh, free, mil free military industry. I mean, basically, the steel that we're importing is paid for by the expanded civilian industry right there. And our military is really growing quite quickly. Uh, we're going to just keep on sticking it on military. And... Expand military industry further. We must continue the expansion of the military factories. You should check out the army focuses to be sure I do that for every country to be sure. All right. You are not. You are not. You are not. You are not. Oh, wait. Four times 25% research bonus for any land doctrine. At least 300,000 manpower and divisions in the field gives you 25 army experience, but I assume other things as well through events. That gives you fast production of armor, mechanized, and motorized, which is pretty good. Armor tech, armor tech, motorized, infantry weapons and support, infantry weapons and support. No, no doctrine stuff. Even here? That's navy. No, I don't think so. United Provinces of America declared one Central America. That's going after the Panama area. And then much cheaper aircraft, like Rule the Federation Skies is interesting 10 percent reduction in production cost for all types of aircraft i think that's the only nation i've seen it for it being that high okay we are now quite quickly overcoming the deficit we're making 45 guns a day instead of six which we started with 
partially down to getting more factories. And also, in fact, a lot of our factories won't be at 100% efficiency yet. And even then, our efficiency bonus isn't that high. And we should be buying in some more steel. So let's make sure that gets done. Turkestan Khanate defeated Alash Order. This is a huge resource area. So hopefully we can get there before Russia does. Especially for the steel supplies. So it's also a lot of chromium. Chromium is heavy tanks. I mean, if we really wanted to kick ass and chew bubblegum, then we'd want to start investing on heavy tanks. We have a lot of chromium for ourselves. So chromium is also used for capital ships. Recon Company 1. Austrian Empire is declared war on the Italian Federation. Uh, Austria, how strong are you? Like, do you have Hungary? No. Hungary split off, so Austria is not that strong. And it is 39, so we can grab these. I think we're going to continue on centralized, or concentrated industry. Although, yeah, it's factory output. We want that. And then we can get the production efficiency as well. Man, my nose is so itchy today. Annoying. It's not like I need to blow or anything. It's just itchy. It always feels weird going, eh. Alright, construction three. Construction speed plus 10%. Factory repair speed plus 10%. Marvellous. Let's get the advanced machine tools. And then probably the advanced infantry stuff. Or, and, or artillery, both of which we need. Which field marshal am I going to assign? I probably won't actually use a field marshal. Because my generals are a lot better. Though he's not bad, defensive doctrine and logistics. So he'd be really good at fighting in, say, the Hill Himalayas. Now we've actually got some really good generals, which I'm pleased with. And even more military factories. Alright, let's start churning out the uh, artillery then. Need even more steel. Okay, now steel imports are getting quite expensive. Um, how far are we from getting the steel mines? Expand mining capacity. I think we do need to do that before Age of Reason. So we'll grab you, and then we'll get Age of Reason. Who am I playing as? This is the Princely Federation down here in India. Kaiserreich mod. Oh, the Soviets took Transomer. Completely took Transomer. So the Japanese just caved. That's unfortunate, because Transomer owned all of this. They'd taken Eastern Siberia, too. Interesting. Alright, so you guys are looking kind of scared in the face of our mighty strength, and also you're all in training right now. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. And my industry is booming. I mean, they've... We in Bharatia seem to have similar number of civilian factories, but I have quite a few more military now, and we're at, like, quadruple the strength of Dominion of India in terms of industry. I mean, I, I doubt we still compare to, say, uh, Canada. I don't think even France is going to be that high. Eh, France isn't bad. Canada is the main one. But we have potential. We can continue growing. Just how much potential, though, is another good question. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> okay, interesting. We are going to need to improve our end infrastructure a little bit. To those levels. And then once we've hit those levels, we'll be quite happy to build factories there. Though so because our population is so rural, it means that we don't have many construction slots. Four factories. Defense in depth. That would be a doctrine. So now we need to choose between deep battle and mass mobilization. So the bonus of mass mobilization is that you can get more manpower. And your infantry are amazing. Recovery rate is pretty high. The deep battle is... Just everything improves. Especially your infantry, though. Break through an organization. Organization for your mechanized units. Backhand blow. Organization loss when moving. So yes, we're going deep battle. We don't really need the manpower. I mean, we're freaking India. Um, so let's get Relentless Assault. 
deep battle or no battle. Absolutely. Okay, good. Once we get about 200 political power, I'll probably get the next one. Again, I like having a buffer, especially as we're on good stability, which means it really sucks if it sinks too low, because it will go backwards. And going backwards doesn't cost anything. Going forwards does. Concentrated industry has completed, so now we will be able to add more industry, which is good. We could start working on better excavation, which will also improve the extraction of steel once that's done. Or we can start improving our infantry equipment and artillery. I think that's probably the better option. So we can start actually equipping our troops with them. And we're only 17,000 short in terms of equipment now. And we should be absolutely blitzing forwards in terms of artillery. Although it will take some time for the uh, efficiency to recover. Mining capacity is almost done. And at that point, we can get rid of some of the things. Eingard Romania has declared war on Hungary. That's Hungary without Austria support. But Austria seems to be gobbling up Italy pretty easily. Which is good. And then I really need to decide whether I want to go mm, uh, firepower or psychology. Now, we are going to be using a lot of artillery. One, two, fire support. So we could go two fire support, one psychology, or we could go three psychology, or any combination of those. And three psychologies would give us division organization plus 30%. That's not just infantry, that's everyone. And 30% faster recovery rate. Like, our units just would never break. Especially with units as large in infantry that we are using. Their organization would be insane. There yet remain resources untapped in the Federation. We must embrace new methods in order to properly exploit them. Uh, oh, that's plus just here, yeah, plus one. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's get the Age of Reason, which gives us more political power, and then we can start going for the research stuff. Some tradition to keep our nation from achieving its potential. We must pass reforms to prepare it to enter the 20th century in full. Only 39 years too late. And production, we are down to 15,000. So we've basically halved our deficit. Sorry, not deficit, our negative. And indeed, it has not affected our training at all. So you can train with no weapons. So long as... No, that's just generally true. You can train with no weapons. I think that's even true for like tanks and stuff. Italian Federation, Austrian Empire made peace. What did they take? Austrians took northeast Italy. Where's Venice gone? Venice was a little island, or have I been playing too much E4? Probably been playing too much E4 because I'm actually playing as Venice there. Right, loads of army experience. So we could add some, for example, in artillery units, but we're still producing a surprisingly small amount of artillery. Oh, and we need to be changing our steel imports, although we're not going to be changing that as much as I would have liked. In fact, just one factory. We just increased our capacity by 25. Oh, because we are export. That's why. Um, What are we exporting? Are we actually getting any rubber? We are. Are we getting anything from chromium? Nope. We're getting one from steel and nothing from tungsten. So there is absolutely no reason for us to be on export focus. We may as well limit them. That is worth spending points on. A bit late to the party, yeah. A bit late to the 20th century party. Alright, so that's being overcome well, good. And we are now producing more than enough steel. We could potentially get rid of one more factory. You know what, I think I'm going to... Yeah, do we need to? I am not convinced. Although the downside for limiting our exports is that our factory output, dockyard output, construction speed, and research time are all reduced as well. I mean, that's one of the reasons I actually really do rate going uh, free trade. But you have to be aware that you're not going to be producing nearly enough resources. So if you're in a high industrial state like Germany or something, then uh, unlimited trade is really strong. A new line of guns. We don't have them yet. They're still being researched. Oh, you're saying add the new line of guns? Yeah, we will be. I want to wait until this is uh, overcome. 
Because if you add guns without actually adding guns, then it's it massively reduces your uh, unit strength for no real reason. So you're suffering all the penalties of low strength. In fact, can we see what those penalties are? Ah, South African Republics to two states. So that civil war is over. So what are the penalties? Do they literally just have a 40% blanket penalty to everything because they're fighting strength 60%? I kind of suspect that's how it works. So yeah, South Africa has indeed won. Nationalists win in South Africa. A civil war has been ravaging South Africa. It's been bloody and bitter, driving across, sorry, dividing across ethnicities, political ideology and ancestry. The domin Dominionists fought to defend the Cape, while the isolated South Rhodesia protected Salisbury with every man they had, and the Afrikaners fought furiously on two fronts. As the dust settles... Oh! 